Luffy has the will for this, but what about the... Story of the Quark. That song is pretty cool. Quit making fun of me. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? Oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Grulovia. That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm, true. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. Actually... Maligula is not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son, she is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Galovia and came here to get away from the curse. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. Well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I had that coming. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind... Dad! ...that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. What's that? 
Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. <sighs> I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. Hey, I found some of those scavenger... Mission critical psychonaut assets? Hand them over. <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught fire! A little bit. Hey, Norma. What are you doing out here with my dad? Oh, I'm sorry, Raz. Is this making you jealous? Did your dad not spend much time with you when you were growing up? No. I mean, yes. I mean, the average amount. <laughs> Why are you hanging out with me? I think we have a lot... I like this girl, Raz. I know who's broadcasting that station. Why do you need to take over everything I like? <laughs> Better grab this before it hurts somebody.
Welcome to the questionable area, where the only answer is more questions. What's with all the question marks? Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Look, Dion, I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Bye, Dion. You found Bucky Fierro's questionable area. Bought some side pops. You'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly! We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. 
Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I need a Senior League membership card. What? W w well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! Aquato, you almost started a forest fire just then. Well, I don't know about that. I do. You... <laughs> Frazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. <gasps> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest. And when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles. Filling them with holes. 
Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts' playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe! Ooh, I got three! Even better! So fast. Lizzie? Ow! Hey, that's sharp. Lizzie? Just got that thing set again. A green needle witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Agent Fool, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah, I said one. I only needed one B. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no, don't all talk at once, please. I can't take it. I can't. It's too much. Too much. Oh no, don't explode. And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah! Uh. Great! Out of my way, bees! No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. 
Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment! Court is in session! Please remain standing! If you're able. Why didn't I stock up on side pops? But this... It's time for... One lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two... Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box! What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Pfft. Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? Let's Careful see if he remembers what to do with it. Right off you. Some emotional baggage nearby. Suitcase tag. That's what I need. What 
just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. Yep. Play that ingredient, chef. First tag. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Yep. Let's see if we can get it to the plate. I think I hear something. Ah! Well, let's get to our first dish. The chef has the egg. That steam is hot. Melt those goggles right off you. It's happening! <laughs> and to think I could have ended up a stupid chicken! Well, don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other... Yes! Got the double bag attack. I think I hear some emotion. Uh, that doesn't smell right. Uh, I need the purse tag here. Exactly. Another nugget of wisdom. That's the purse tag. Yep. Uh, oh. What are you doing? He doesn't need onion to be quiet. I think it would be nicer if I were in the slicer. Play that ingredient, Chef. Please boil the egg. We make a great team. Let's see if he can get it to the plate. Here's that. 
Catbox tag. He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Eat, 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 eat. Well, eat, here we eat, are. Eat, at the eat, moment eat, of eat, truth. Eat, Will eat, we be looking eat, at a drowned eat, egg? Eat, or eat, a drowned eat, contestant? Eat, 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 eat. Reveal! The meal! So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly acceptable. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. some side pops. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Stock up on side pops. Make 
cross-examine, Counselor. Agent Poole, an important thing to do when you're feeling overwhelmed is to take breaks. So before I push that button and start the next... some emotional baggage here. You can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh la la! You'll need to boil another egg. <laughs> easy. Take some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. And fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out! Uh, well, what about the strawberry, huh? Hey! <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been... blended. Did someone call for patty puree? All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. I hear you worked with my brother! Walk in the kitchen, please. Especially with that. Careful, I lost an arm. It's a good taste human flesh. Oh, it changes the relationship. Ah, you won't be disappointed. That uh, blender's the best way to get my juices out. Blades, razor sharp. What could possibly go wrong? Wonder if I should work on something else instead of waiting. Oh. to pull back the pork chopper's action hoof? Once he pushes that hook, the chop is now clear to push it. Let me help you out with that croak, madam. We only have five more seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> I'm lighter than I look, right? Right? Ever heard you? See, Agent Bull, you can do I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. Yeah! <laughs> yep, I think. 
think I hear some walk in the kitchen, please. Especially with that. I think I hear some of my suitcase, dear. That's what I hear. Ah, you won't be disappointed. That uh, blender's the best way to get my juices out. Careful, I lost an arm in there once. Once a good taste human flesh. Well, it changes the relationship. Position. Now we must quickly grab the pork chopper's hook. Quick moving blades, razor sharp. Great! That so button Jeff is now clear. Push the chopping. Let me help you out with that crook, but damn. Oh, 
the ingredients. Croak, 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 croak. What do you think, Chef? Did you get caught in a jam? Are you worried about croaking? Croak, 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 croak. Reveal the meal. What do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with, um... Curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. <laughs> Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Now be gone! And bring us more food! Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. of law. Thank you for helping me, young man. I don't know what I'd do without you. How would you feel about taking a little break before I push that button to start the next dish? That's just what the doctor ordered. Just get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. Straight from the Lumber Stack Diner, it's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. You'll need another egg. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. Oh, but this time that egg needs to fry. Then I'm your guy. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game! Get it? Whatever, as long as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. And fried. Wait, I got a bowl of double shift? 
to give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Woo! I'm all a buzz. I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about time. That's been chopped. Sure, I guess. Uh, kind of still thinking about that pig, though. And then blended. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big finish. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Yeah. So, chefs, better get cooking. Awesome. I'm ready for that. I could work miracles with that egg, I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's Can't try that it. egg, Shelf. <laughs> uh, I prefer to be fried over medium. I could go through. That looks ready to serve. Back to the plate. over with. You know, we might just get through. <laughs> there you go. Let's fry that egg, Shelf! Careful with that. Stupid goats. 
This is weird. Grandpa Mervin! Petey? Is that you? Oh no, this just got a lot weirder. Ah! Hey! Hey, that wasn't so bad. No kidding? Well, say hi to your dad for me. Is that honey pepper boar bacon I smell? <laughs> Not yet! Now, the chef remember where the serving plate is. <laughs> Who is this boy? It's left, oh my! Remember to pull back the action hook. Come over here, Melon. Yep. Quick moving blades, razor sharp. What could possibly go wrong? Back to the serving plate. Get moving. that when Lumber prepared stack. improperly, Lumber the honey stack. pepper pancake stack stack. can produce an Lumber interesting stack. byproduct? Lumber no? Stack. I didn't Lumber mention the possibility stack. of a Lumber deadly stack. swarm of Lumber killer stack. bees? Ah, Lumber no matter. Stack. Lumber stack. Let's see what we got. Reveal! The meal! Is that the tallest stack you could manage? It's taller than it looks. Because we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile, if you will. <laughs> Moderately pleasant. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. 
How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for what, audience? Double down! No! That's right. It's time to double down! Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Bull. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... professionals. Uh, we might have to uh, make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. One of those disgusting might hold the key to our victory. Oh, it seems like the sous chef has picked up the rolls on ingredients. Did I mumble when I told you what I needed? Look out! Jeff seems to be holding it together in the isolation station. Oh, here comes the fresh is a strong word, but... That's better! Nice! This is must bark. Why not bark out an egg? Please don't play with that. Goat vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. Why didn't I stock up on side parts? Run! Oh, I'm to see that. I'm going to close my eyes. Watch it! Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredient in you. I don't want this. No offense. Are you trying to sabotage this dish? <laughs> Is charging. Oh, oh I, I wouldn't touch that if I knew. Quickly, through the crashing bunch of bounce and find me my ingredient. Thank you. Mm. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you, and it must be unthinkably warm. Please <laughs> don't play with that. Goat vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. More Rats, this isn't what I need. Well, it's about time you found one of those. That's the final of Dr. Oldest. Now I just have to make this dish all by myself. You can do this thing. I shall certainly try. You stay safe down there while I do my best.
He did it! We did it! As you know, in the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. Let's see if this young man has a passion for service. Oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. Oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. That's gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Good luck. You need to serve the judge's chef, not attack them. More easy. Ingredient. Ah. Uh, a slight whiff of vomit on this one, but I'll cover it up with spices. Yeah, little piggy, come jump into my kitchen, will you? Oh, this is horrible to watch in so many ways. Please, more clear of real wretch for us. Stinky, but exactly what the chef is. Oh, I wouldn't touch that. My kingdom. Perfect choice! But is it too Perfect. I'll take it from here. Brace yourself for a hastily prepared dinner down there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks incredible. But the judges say it's inedible. Serve it before it gets up and walks away. <laughs> All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. Uh oh, someone's been overserved, <laughs> and it looks like they're getting ready to flip out. But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. <laughs> More ingredients. Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? Nope. this. Finally! Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? Good it can't be lovely, and it must be unappealing. If I only had a watermelon, that really makes this mm. dish sing. Attacking the judges, not a part of Double Down. Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredient we need. Oh no. He's got the wrong ingredient again. We don't need one of those right now. 
One of those disgusting lumps might hold the key to our victory. Wrong. Why are you playing with that? I don't want that. Here comes the spell. You don't need one of those even now. listening to me. <laughs> Please don't play with that. Ghost vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. I, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Oh, here comes some fresh candidates. Well, fresh is a strong word, but why are you playing with that? I don't want that. Nope. That's not what I needed at all. You can do this, Compton. Just clear your mind. Oh, I hate to see that. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, oh I, I wouldn't touch that. I... Quickly, sort through that partially digested bounty and find me the ingredient. Seems like the sous chef has picked up the wrong ingredient. Ooh, looks like he's got a good one. Relative speaking. I, I don't want to change it, but I feel like this one will be my best one yet. In a minute. <laughs> Let us take Well, who are these jammy fellows? Serve them quickly, young man. Never know what these things are Run for the hills, folks! Oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want... help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't.
With this senior league pass, I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling aspect.